What's going on YouTube, Gios right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak with Cydia iOS 12.4, which is currently the latest version of iOS available. Yes, in an unexpected turn of events, the uncovered jailbreak was released for iOS 12.4 with support for A7 through A11 devices, of course, latest and signed firmware. Now the A12 devices are not supported for the moment, so no iPhone XS, XS Max or XR. Now you're probably going to ask me how did this happen? How do we have an iOS 12.4 jailbreak when there is no TFP0 exploit? Well, apparently there is a TFP0 exploit. You probably remember the SOC port exploit that we used for iOS 12.2 and 12.1. Well, that exploit was patched on iOS 12.3 and of course it doesn't work on 12.3 and 12.3.1. But apparently Apple did a very serious no-no and they reintroduced the uh, bug on iOS 12.4 without our knowledge. And it was discovered by this guy in here, Aldib Ahmed, who I originally called fake because he said he got TFP0 on 12.4 by using SOC port, which at that time looked impossible because the exploit was patched on 12.3 and Apple usually patches the exploits properly. Well, apparently not. And in this case, it works on 12.4. Now, please do keep in mind that this only works on 12.4 and not 12.3.1 or 12.3. So yeah, with this information in mind, with the SOC port exploit working on 12.4 without our knowledge, we were able to update the uncovered jailbreak because it was basically just one line of code in order to make sure that it works on 12.4. Since this is not a new exploit, this is the same exploit we use for 12.2, it just so happens that it works without our knowledge on 12.4. So in order to jailbreak your device when I was 12.4, all you have to do is to navigate in here on github.com slash pound own stuff slash undecimus releases and getting here the latest version, which is version 3.5.0, which contains support for the 12.4 with the suck puppet for A8 through A11 and suck port for A7 and A7X. So you download the IPA file in here and you will be able to sideload it with CDI Impactor, which is this one in here, which is available for Mac OS, Windows, and Linux. So I'm going to wait for the undecimus to be downloaded and be right back. So now that the IPA file has been downloaded, all you have to do is to open the CDI Impactor in here. And then of course, make sure that you have the device connected. And of course, for that, you need an USB cable. And as you can see, I can go ahead and drag and drop in here. And now you need to log in with your Apple ID and password. I'm going to be right back after that is done. All right. So as you can see, at this point, the application is being deployed to your device and you will be able to open the undecimus or the uncovered chill break in just a few seconds. So I'm going to be right back on the phone. All right. So at this point, all you have to do is to open the uncover application, but when you open it, it's going to say untrusted developer. So to fix that, you go ahead in here on the settings, you go to general, and then you navigate all the way down in here to profiles and device management. Then of course you press your email that you used for the signing and press trust in there. And now you can open the application with no problem. And of course, now we can jailbreak iOS 12.4. It says in here for iOS 11, all the way up to iOS 12.4. So we're going to press in here jailbreak and I'm going to be right back. So the jailbreak was successful and I'm able to open Cydia and everything works fine. I also installed Falza while waiting so that you can see the tweaks and applications also work fine. Now you have to excuse my internet connection. I'm using hotspot because my main connection is down. And as you can see here, it does work pretty fine. I do have the uh, repos in here and they do load fine. But Apple is going to get rid of this very, very soon. So if you want to downgrade, please do it right now. Many people are reporting that iOS 12.4 is failing to install as we speak. There are many people who say that it still works, but there are some people, including myself, who get errors while trying to downgrade. So please downgrade right now because Apple is probably going to unsign it and they are probably going to either patch it and re-release it or they're going to make 12.3.1 signed again, which of course has the bug patched. Thank you for watching. I'm Geosnow. Until the next time, peace out.